What are your recollections that you can share with us of the day that Hank Gathers passed away, Coach? Yeah, Rich, that's a, that's a hard one. Uh, you know, it's it's 30 years now since mm. that uh, moment. And, you know, it's like three seconds ago for me. Uh, you know, uh, I, we're at Gerson Arena in a, in a playoff game uh, to get into the NCAA, and Hank makes a classic slam dunk on our fast break, which, you know, like I alluded to, Anthony Davis does now. Turned around to get back on defense and just around half court just collapsed and fell and never to recover. And, uh, I mean, it's a moment frozen in time. Uh, the death of Hank uh, was, was just more than hard to take. It was devastating. And uh, to the tribute of the players, they, they eventually wanted to play in the NCAA tournament kind of in honor of Hank Gathers, and, and they performed very well uh, trying to honor him. No doubt. I, I remember they, they bounced my alma mater, and it, it, it felt, as again, as a Michigan fan watching that game, it, it felt like a fait accompli, quite frankly. Um, it, it felt like, um, you know, certainly the way that in Kimball shooting free throws like Hank and in his honor, I'll never forget that. Um, did you know Bo was going to start doing that when he started? Yeah, yeah he, doing that? he had said to us that he was going to, uh, the moment he got uh, to the free throw line in any playoff game, and uh, the first one was against New Mexico State mm-hmm. and then Michigan. Yep. Uh, he was going to shoot his first two free throws left-handed in honor of Hank, who the background on this is uh, Hank, the year before, led the country in scoring and rebounding. He sure did. Not not an easy feat, but he never was a very good free throw shooter. So he said to me in the springtime, he said, uh, I'm going to work this summer on shooting left-handed free throws. and. I guess if I was a more stern, disciplined coach, I would have said, no, I cannot do that. I said, yeah, whatever you want to do. Right. <laughs> so uh, he comes back, and he's shooting it the, the, true to form. The, he shot left-handed the entire season and, until the final game against Portland. Uh, and Bo, picking that up to honor Hank, you know, said, well, I'll shoot my first two left-handed. Uh, so – and. And he made every one he shot left-handed. <laughs> he sure uh, did. It's kind of an interesting tribute to Well, it was so Hanker. remarkable, uh, Coach. It was so remarkable. I, I, I do feel like it was just yesterday. Um, and the whole country was uh, feeling it, feeling for you, for Hank Gather's family. What, to who, who did you draw upon? What did you draw upon for, yeah, for the I, kids I, at the yeah, time? Yeah, I, I, well... Here's what happened to us. I mean, I, me personally, I drew on my wife, Cassie, and my four children, and they, they kind of uh, surrounded me with their love and affection, which, which always helps to make it personal. But the players and myself, uh, we fed off each other. You know, I kept saying to them, uh, do not do this, you know, uh, for Hank hoping that he's going to somehow miraculously have you play better. Uh, and they they understood that. They said, no, we want to play so that we can, for two hours a day in practice or in games, put our loss of Hank aside. We just want to just do something that we can forget for a moment or an hour. And in their forgetting, the irony is that they've, didn't worry about winning or losing. So they just started playing basketball kind of for fun. So it was fun to be around them for those two hours uh, when we would practice or have games. And and when it ended, uh, then we had to get back to the real world of breathing for Hank again.